Welcome to 3 Minutes Met. Do you know your Nimbus stratus from your Cumulo Nimbus? Did you know there are 10 main cloud types, all with different names, and these names come from Latin? After the next three minutes, hopefully you'll be able to name all these clouds, but it's not as complicated as it might first seem. Now, the first person who named the clouds, or not the first person, but the, the cloud names have come from Luke Howard, this gentleman here. He was a British chemist and amateur meteorologist, and in 1803, he wrote a paper in which he named the clouds, basing those names on Latin words. So there's three main types. That he looked out the he looked out the sky. I think he was on a train at the time. He looked out, looked at the sky, and basically started categorising them into these three main different types, different flavours of cloud, if you like: stratus, layer form cloud, cumulus. They're the fluffy, they're the heaped ones. Cumulo meaning heaped, uh, but cumulus. Uh, that's where that comes from. And cirrus, the sort of hair looks like horse hair, horse hairs, as they're often called. Um, so they're the three main different types that he categorise them into, but then he got a bit more complicated and added well, the, a couple of extra. The beauty of his system is that you've not just got these names, but you can combine them. So you can combine cirrus with stratus to give you cirrostratus, or cumulus with stratus to give you stratocumulus. And the addition of just two more words to learn, alto meaning high, and nimbus, which technically means dark cloud, but we use it to refer to rainy clouds. So you know if it's got a nimbus in it, it's going to be raining. So Basically. how do we combine those together to give you 10 main clouds? It's quite straightforward, really. We've talked about the cumulus fluffy clouds. We've talked about the stratus, the grey uniform layer clouds, which you often get on a drizzly sort of day. But sometimes you'll have a combination of both of those, and you would call that stratocumulus, so a layer of bumpy clouds. And then you've got cumulonimbus, so that's a cumulus cloud, a fluffy one, but also a rain-bearing cloud. So cumulonimbus, as you probably know, they're the big thunderstorm clouds. So if you combine cumulus with nimbus, then you get cumulonimbus. And of course, stratus and nimbus, that's uh, really horrible weather. That's nimbostratus, just a big heap of cloud, a big layer of cloud that gives you persistent wet weather. And then the high clouds, so cirrus is the, is the most famous of all the high clouds, but you can combine that if you've got like a, a layer, a really thin layer of high cloud, that can be cirrus stratus. But if it's also lumpy and bumpy, high up in the sky, and indeed you've got the combination of cirrus and cumulus, creating cirrocumulus, one of the rarest forms of these main ten, I would have said. Also known as mackerel sky, you can see why. And in between, medium level clouds, you just add the alto. Alto stratus, quite a grey sky, often a precursor to bad weather. Or alto cumulus can give you very nice sunsets. So those are the main cloud types, ten in total. It's three minutes up, but I think we'll keep going. You can find out more from the International Cloud Atlas, including this wonderful diagram on their website.